Okay, what's it's, the first year and how much do you get? Oh, look, you, you, you can't put a figure on it. There have been no factions in the Labour Party, either based on ideology or on personalities. Well, look, I've got to say this about Chris Carter, and I've said it to you before. He is one of the most hard-working MPs in Parliament. I wholeheartedly support Mr Goff as leader, and I'm looking forward to working with him in the government in 2011. The question is whether Phil Goff is the person to lead New Zealand. We are against yeah. it. I am against and it. So we are now against it. We were quite relaxed. The word relaxed. No, no. And every time that uh, my Whanaungas talk about leadership, they actually diminish my prospects. There is no question uh, of support for my leadership. So you're promising well over 200,000 jobs, eh? Oh, look, you, you, you can't put a figure on it. Labour is now completely dysfunctional. It has to put Phil to bed. He's a very good politician, very slick, uh, very professional in what he does. Uh, what is the national. first year that you gain any additional revenue from your tax, which, and oh, how I, much I, I think it's about, I think it's about 2016, 17. Again, I don't carry all those things Well, it's 2018-19. Yeah. It's well, a that's, long that's, way off, it's, isn't it? It, it is. One thing I would have liked to have learned more of was about financial literacy. And Phil lacks the capacity to work out how to give real leadership. Had they turned that complaint into a charge laid Again, against Mr. him... Again, Mr Goff, you're the leader no, of the no, Labour Party. No, this is no, politics. I'm, the temptation no, is for one to think you put and, friendship and frankly, over stewardship. No, no, frankly... Friendship frankly, over the stewardship and, of the party. And, frankly, what you're showing me is showmanship. I'm trying to deal with this seriously. I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with me for another couple of years. Phil Goff says he wasn't briefed about the investigation. These documents from the SIS say he was. In any future meeting with Warren Tucker or the SIS, I will have a... A third party present. Where there are problems, uh, that opens the opportunity to renegotiate so you particular will areas. You, you, you would renegotiate? Well, if, 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 if there is a problem there, obviously we would look at it. I take him at his word that he has not uh, done anything against the law. I think there will be a question of judgment, uh, and I've acknowledged that. Uh, you learn and you move on. I, look, right at the start, uh, it was a, a casual interview with the Herald. Uh, I said, look, we haven't worked out the detail of this, but here are the principles. There was a global financial crisis in 2008, but that was over by 2009. What is your view on whether we should have some form of capital gains tax? That doesn't immediately appeal to us as, as the key priority for uh, any incoming government. If you want the detail, you'll, ha you'll have to go to the, the policy researchers on that. I'm setting out the broad parameters. Do you know? I'm setting out the broad parameters of the policy. I've answered the question, Duncan. I'm not going to answer it again. Why don't you just live in your flat and not claim any money from the taxpayer? No, because the, the flat is currently tenanted and I plan to sell it. I, I don't want to sell the thing uh, and, uh, and, and not get a decent sale price. I've got it right here. I think. No, no, I without could, looking. Do, could, no, do you know without looking? No, I'll, I'll give you the figures just it's to make sure. Billion. Billion. Yeah, it's 78 billion. Yeah, look, the, those details go to an expert panel. I'm going to be the first to admit that I was wrong in the judgment that I made at that time. Labour leader Phil Goff became Phil Gaff today when he got his finance spokesman's name wrong in a major speech about the economy. Labour's finance spokesperson, David Cagle. Can I just say, I've noticed you've started to walk differently. It's like a meaningful stride that after the election he'll still be standing as leader? Uh, there's, well, here's the leader uh, taking us into the election. You shouldn't ask personal questions, or if you do, you should ask John Key as well. He was looking very tired and drawn and beaten, and uh, I felt a little sorry for him. Would you take the leadership of the Labour Party? Oh, well, that lies somewhere between our caucus and Providence, so we'll just wait and see about that. If you're a parliamentarian, you're elected publicly, you've got to front up and take the music. How many people will be exempt from it? Yeah, look, no, I, I can't give you the figure on that. That's, that's why we don't need to know the specific figure on that. But I'm not the leader of the Labour Party. Well, I'm not the leader. Patrick. Purely yes, hypothetical question, so I won't answer that one. Look, uh, you know, I've, I've got a track record. I've had 15 years as a minister. I've never tripped up. I've never stuffed up. I've done the job competently. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Frankly, that's just nonsense.